Let's take a journey through time and explore the history of Cape Girardeau and surrounding areas. We'll bring to life a collection of historic photos showcasing the striking contrast of then and now. My name is Morgan and I'm an independent filmmaker who enjoys history. And today we will be looking at the old Cape Girardeau Bridge. When they were building the new bridge in the early 2000s, uh, a lot of workers would hear things, look over and see debris falling from the old bridge. And it was also shaky. I know a lot of people, numerous people claimed that it was very shaky, which was obviously scary. And also the traffic was really close. Uh, the oncoming traffic would be really close. And obviously that's kind of adds to the fear. So I guess it was one of those unfortunate things that it was just time to build a new bridge. So the first photo we're going to recreate is this aerial photo of both bridges here. This photo was taken probably in 2002 or 2003. This photo was taken higher than I could actually fly my drone so it's not a perfect recreation but angle wise it turned out pretty good. This photo was a bit of a guessing game because there wasn't much of a reference point other than the shore on the Illinois side of the river. And this last one here lined up pretty good. I first matched up the entrance and then I used the house in the background to match the height so it was a big help. I think the city did a good job on what is now this overlook. The entrance that was left is nostalgic for me. I remember crossing the bridge as a kid while going fishing with my great grandmother. The bill that launched the construction of the old bridge was signed by President Calvin Coolidge on May 4th, 1926. It was completed in September of 1928 and was originally a toll bridge. In 1987, plans to replace the bridge were underway. It's almost shocking that it took another 16 years to follow through with the Bill Emerson Bridge. The old bridge was just falling apart. It was documented in the media and as I mentioned earlier, I've heard countless stories from friends that the bridge would literally move as you crossed it. I was just too young to really remember it, I guess. The bridge was demolished in 2004 and I remember watching it on the news and going outside to hear the blast about 10 seconds after we saw it on TV and it sounded just like thunder. Which I think the new one does look pretty cool. So uh, stay with us, and uh, I think next week we're going to do Hawks. Next week we're going to do Hawks Stadium or something cool. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there.